Hi, this is Pastor Steve of North Hollywood First United Methodist Church. This last week, I was up in Northern California riding my bicycle. And I was out on Highway 126, one of my favorite places to ride. And as I was going through Alexander Valley, I noticed the burned out structure of Soda Rock Winery. It's a place where my family and I had been on several occasions and really had great experiences and loved the people and the, and the site and the, the tasting room there. And it was virtually burned to the ground. And I want you to think about what the workers and the people who own the winery went through that day. Literally, they finished a, a, a day of greeting customers and guests. They locked up and they went home only to get the news several hours later that the winery was on fire and that it was burning to the ground. Sometimes life changes in an instant. We've watched the news and heard about the explosion in Beirut and how it has changed the lives of so many people in an instant. What do you do when something interjects into your life and rips up your plans and your hopes and your dreams and makes your life difficult? Do you curl up into a ball and give up? The reality is that we human beings are called to be resilient. And one of the things that makes us resilient is the hope that somehow everything is going to work out okay. And for us who are Christians, we believe that even though we may not be able to see it or understand how, we believe that God is with us in every situation. And that God is at work to bring good out of the most difficult and awful experiences that we find ourselves in. The outcome may not be what we had originally drawn up, But it doesn't mean that the outcome can't be good, that it can't be a blessing to you, and that it can't be a blessing to the world and help carry out God's plans. Just because something bad happens doesn't mean that God isn't there. This week, we're going to be reading Genesis chapter 37 and following the story of Joseph and about some of the experiences that he has in his life and how God is always with them. I hope that you'll tune in and be with us in worship on Sunday morning. God bless. 